Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy, and today we're watching American Horror Story Season 10, Episode 4, Blood Buffet. Let's watch. Very exciting. October, five years ago, I was worried about time jumps, and we're getting time... <laughs> time backs, I almost said. <laughs> time backs! Flashback. boys getting butt fucked on front porches like some kind of perverted Norman Rockwell painting and now it's mom and dad, or dad, and dad <laughs> I love the chemist mom and baby I want to know her real name fucking so long. the face she That's makes is like job. shut up <laughs> yes it was an ugly divorce look at that outfit she's like I have a PhD from Harvard and look at that is well below my pay grade Good. shiny because the sheriff has a nose like a truffle pig for that junk. Right, they mentioned a previous sheriff. I wonder if we're gonna see him or her. Do, 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 do. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Walter White, what you cooking up? All right, she's already made the pill, so. Not that much of a flashback, but okay. The pill is only five years old. Is that what we're supposed to assume? I mentioned last episode that I thought the episode was kind of slow, but looking back while editing, I guess it wasn't that slow. It was just that there was so much action in the beginning and then there was a lot of dialogue that kind of slowed things down. And I guess I just want to see more of Mickey, Karen, Harry and his family, that whole dynamic, all that drama. I loved all that. But then we were introduced to new characters and I just wasn't that interested. So we'll see. There was definitely a lot of action last episode. <gasps> Pumpkin! Ah, Halloween! He cursed the doctor. Wait, don't tell me. He's from Texas. Yeah. Well, how'd you know? Is this whole episode five years earlier? Or are we in present day now? You're playing on your lead. Scram. Oof, she looks so I stylish. I said scram. You do girls too? Yep. I thought maybe she was going to experiment on him, but I guess not. Do you ever want to be a model or play for the Yankees? You really think I could be a... Is she going to experiment on him? Mm -hmm. I don't think so, because he already say. took the pill for the first Everyone time does. last time, right? Why do I love Mickey so much? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever shown anyone anything I've written before, but... I've... Mickey is, like, the most likable character in this whole episode. He just seems so pure. Even after he took the pill, he wasn't an asshole, you know? It's almost like the non-creative ones can tolerate their lack of talent until they're confronted with it. Then their mediocrity drives them mad. Oh, okay. That's an interesting way to put it, but I still want it to be a different reason. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay. See, uh, Mickey is very likable. I'll give you $50 for anyone you convince to come take one of these little black beauties. Oh. Oh, Mickey. <sighs> okay. I always get depressed this time of year. Oh, no. Don't bring Karen over I there. Love it. All the assholes leave town and the galleries close and none of the paintings inside them mock me when I walk by. Yeah, convince someone else. <laughs> Don't go changing. Try and please me. You never let me down before. There you go. There's experiment number one. Oh boy. You think he's a ghoul pyre? Or he will be? I think he's gonna be a ghoul pyre. Although then she'll yeah, because then she'll have to experiment again, right? I want to know if it worked on the other guy. I think he was a ghoul pyre. You're saying they get out to the chemist. I want to know your name. The writer. That's very kind of you. You said you were going to come in for the reading. Who's that? Is that her husband? <gasps> Does 
Did she kill him? Actually, this book. I can't look at a one dollar bill or Mount Rushmore anymore without wanting to puke. Okay, chill. Just bought a book from you at home, and we could have skipped this bullshit. It's not bullshit. Rude. It's my dream. What do you want from me, Bell? I'm here, aren't I? I thought her real name was Sarah Cunningham. Why is he calling her Bell? You're weak and scared and boring. This guy has to die. Well, Seems I was when you married me 40 years ago. Well, I was at work for those 40 years. Now that I have to be with you all the time, it's intolerable. You have to take the pill and then kill him. He working his magic. Be cool color on your nails. Oh. Do you mind if I join you? This was five years ago? Wasn't that trend like two years ago? Or last year? I don't know. You're wasting your time with me unmarried. All his clients are married. <laughs> You're right too. Sometimes, but not like you. So Mickey actually really hates Belle. That's what he said in like the second episode. But in a way, he created Belle. Wow. Can I ask you a question? Do you have any cocaine? I always wanted to try it and you look like a drug addict. No offense. No offense. <laughs> oh, take him. <laughs> Perhaps something better. Uh... Give me a Bloody Mary. Oh. Hey, dude, you don't look good. I feel sick. I think that bitch Karen gave me bronchitis or something. That's a singer. Are you sure? Because she says she hasn't been sick He took in a the while. pill. Bloody Mary's not going to do it. It's not real blood. I love Bloody Mary's. He's going to puke gonna it up. Puke. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to puke. Oh, wait. We, maybe he will still turn to a ghoul pirate. I want to know who... I want to see somebody turn into a pale person. Maybe that's what's happening to him. Or what if like you don't drink the blood and then you turn into a pale person? He's, he looks pretty pale. Is his hair gonna fall out? Oh yeah. He's turning into a ghoul pyre. Okay. The pills Tell her. create certain cravings and they cause aggression even in the subjects with positive results. I could use a little of that too, according to my husband. Please, I need this. Good, because I want to see her kill her husband. He's a dick. Not that he deserves to die, but... You know. <laughs> I want to see him die. <laughs> that was a very cute face she made. She's gonna eat her husband. Her husband's still not home, what time is it? He's out with somebody, someone else. I went out and danced and took methamphetamine and, <laughs> and had the time of my life. And then I came home and I wrote this. Where the fuck were you? I met a woman who doesn't dress like a school teacher and yep. I fucked her right there in the sand until we passed out. Yep, thought so. Smash that there. bottle. <laughs> right in, just jam it. Yeah. She was gonna jam it, but she went. Shh. Okay. What was the feel? <laughs> Look how it's all in her hair. <laughs> oh gosh. After the rages, the apes would drink the blood of their kills. Didn't want to tell her this before she took the pill, huh? Yeah. So Mickey made Belle. Very interesting. Why is this happening to me? Please give me a fix. Just one more pill. One more pills for two days. Would he get better if he just stopped taking the pills? I'm freezing cold. Go get yourself a proper fucking coat. Vampire Michael Stipe. <laughs> or anorexic Uncle Fester. <laughs> when does she take the pill? I wondered about their coats. Do all the ghoul pirates get shoulder pads? Lark! I was hoping to sell a few for Halloween, but no takers. I'll basically give one to you if you take it off my hands. Does that mean she has a whole bunch of them? Because a whole bunch of them wear those like shoulder pad jackets you gotta hang out in the cemetery huh <laughs> he's gonna eat you is that a glass bottle too 
Who brings a glass bottle to the cemetery? They're already dry. That was just weird. Is that the first time he's drinking blood though? It's not that awesome, but whatever. It states in section four of the contract you signed to be a part of this study that you have complete confidentiality for anything you say in here. Like the contract means anything. I'm a vegan. I don't even eat those impossible burgers, but the thirst for her was too much. How much blood did you drink? I don't fucking know. I killed her. She asked me to pray with her and I killed her. That's sad, the ghoul pyres have a conscience. You hate everyone because you now know the truth about yourself. You're not talented. But he didn't know. That doesn't make sense. She's telling him this. The rage comes from their arrogance and certainty that they're better than everyone. The rage of the untalented is much darker, more intense. Eh. You hate the world for giving you dreams that were too big. Yes. Back up, motherfucker. Whoa, okay. Are his bones gonna start crunching? So he stops taking the pills. Oh, bones starting to crunch. Crunchy bones. Hey, dude. Never mix tequila and Merlot. Ew. <sighs> okay. Are we gonna get back to the present day? My problem with you is, you're the ugliest fucking woman I ever seen. Oh, damn. And your drag name is awful. Patio Furniture. That's an awesome name. Loser. Come on, patio. I can't tell if he's playing a different character or if this is Austin. So Austin's a writer. This must be a different character. You don't be jealous. What is it? Doesn't matter. Goes down easy and gets you high. Looks like absinthe. Is that Austin? Sweet talk the owner of the playhouse in town into putting on one of my plays, and the guy just disappeared. Oh, damn. <laughs> Woo! It's the highway to your true self. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Down the hatch. Woo! Crystal get away. That means there's a witness. Crystal's gonna come back. There's a witness, right? Or is the ghoul pyre gonna get her? Uh, yeah, in the cemetery. Really, you just stop in a cemetery? In the dark? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was my reaction to American Horror Story, episode four of season 10. Blood Buffet. I was expecting something a little bit different, but it was nice to get a little backstory, especially with Belle and Austin. I really like those characters. Um, I still want to see more of Karen. I don't know very much about her. And I really wish we, we started where we left off, which was Alma killing the sheriff. I really like Alma's... Um, Alma's story and her whole thing with Harry and I want to see how Doris reacts because Doris doesn't really know about the pill or she doesn't know about the pill she doesn't exactly know she doesn't know Alma took it so I kind of wish we saw more of that things are still a little bit predictable at least for now but I am still enjoying it I'm enjoying the feel of everything everything's still very spooky but we haven't gotten a lot of twists just yet. And we're on episode four, so I don't know. I'm, I'm still a little worried about this pacing. But overall, I enjoyed this episode. Comment down below to let me know if you enjoyed this episode. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.